Before you get caught up in being busy, ask yourself, is now the time to be chasing or is now a good time to be practicing strategic patience? Have you ever really wanted something? It was right there within reach. It was right there for you. But whenever you seem to go after it, it always seemed to be able to elude you for one reason or another. Does this sound familiar to you? So welcome to Wild Impact, and it is time to awaken your wild side by becoming masters of strategic patience. In this episode, we'll be taking a close look at a leopard seal who wasted precious time and energy trying to run down his prey, only to then realize all he had to do was to sit back, wait, and let his prey come to him. We'll see what we can learn and gather from their failures and success so that we can experience more success in our own day-to-day -day lives. And as with all the content here at Wild Impact, we use nature, the animal kingdom, as our guide and as our reference to provide you with the unique and powerful tools and strategies to help you navigate your day-to-day -day life in a more fulfilling, effective, and successful way. So diving into it here, we see a leopard seal trying to hunt a massive group of penguins. So when it comes time for the penguins to hunt, they all have to leave the icy shore together and head out to sea and search for fish. But meeting them on the shoreline are the leopard seals hunting the penguins. And the penguins know that the seals are there. So now the penguins are all bunched up at the shoreline together. Nobody wants to go in because nobody wants to be the first one to get eaten up by the seal. And the seal, knows that sooner or later the penguins are gonna have to dive into the water. So at this point, it's now just a waiting game. The inexperienced seal grows impatient and they leap out of the water onto the icy shore and they start trying to chase the penguin, flopping around unsuccessfully. This frustrates the seal. This also gives the penguins the opportunity to dive into the water and swim out into the open ocean where they're safe, which further frustrates the seal. But the seal soon learns that if it just stays in the water where it's most effective and simply waits by the water's edge, the penguins will eventually have to jump in, ultimately jumping right into the mouth of the seal. And that's exactly what happens. And this got me thinking, have you ever felt as though you were being really active, but not that productive? Or maybe you know someone like that? If this rings true for you, then clearly being busy is not the same as being efficient or effective. Especially nowadays, people, and I'm guilty of this too, seem to wear their busyness as a badge of honor. But when you take a closer look at it, are you or that person that you know, are you sometimes flopping around on the icy shores desperately trying to catch a penguin to no prevail? Or are you the more strategically patient and effective seal, knowing exactly what the situation calls for, who you're dealing with, and simply letting the penguins come to you. Of course, there are some situations in life in which we need to be very active. Generally, it's always better to be proactive rather than just waiting. But more importantly than being active is being effective. And sometimes being strategically patient is the key. And here's a funny story which I think will illustrate this. So I was house sitting for a friend of mine watching their dog and their cat. And the homeowner, my friend, told me, Hey, just a heads up, if the door is ever left open and you don't see our cat, just leave the door open and eventually she'll come back in. And I thought, oh, okay, good thing you told me that, right? And then she told me that the previous person who house-sitted for them, the door was left open, the cat got outside, and the person who was house-sitting spent six hours running around the yard, searching the whole property, every nook and cranny, running up and down the street, searching the neighbor's yards, getting the neighbors involved, asking them to help. It was a total nightmare. She's thinking, I just killed my friend's cat. She calls my friend who's out on vacation and says, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, your cat's been gone for seven hours. My friend says, just leave the door open, continue with your life, eventually the cat will come home. Sure enough, one hour later, in strolls the cat. And I could easily see myself being that frantic friend running all around the neighborhood for hours thinking, I gotta find this cat. But it turns out just some strategic patience was all it took. And we can implement this strategy in our relationships and in a lot of certain situations in our life. Whether you're going out on a date or you're going out for a new job, whatever it is, we can be active in communicating our desires. And then we can be strategically patient in giving them the time and the space to follow back up with you in their own way. So before you get caught up in being busy, 
ask yourself, is now the time to chase and pursue or is now the time to practice some strategic patience? Now, patience is not the same as waiting. Waiting simply means that you're sitting on the couch with your arms crossed, waiting and hoping for whatever it is that you want to just land in your lap, which of course never does. Patience means you have marinated the chicken, you've put it in the oven, and now you're gonna let the oven do its job. And while it cooks, you're gonna set the table and you're gonna pour yourself and others a drink. So if you're one of those people whose default mode is to do more, as mine often is, it usually comes from a place of lacking clarity, lacking strategy, and sometimes even coming from a place of feeling powerless. And we think doing more is gonna save us from drowning, but this never leads to effective and sustaining progress. And whenever I have that trigger to do more, that is simply a reminder for me to stop, re-clarify, refocus, re-strategize. And more often than not, I realize I've done everything that I can do up to this point. There's nothing more for me to do right now. I've dug the hole, I've purchased the seed, I've planted the seed. Now it's time to sit back, fertilize the soil, water it daily, and practice some strategic patience and watch my creation blossom. All of the riches of your life and that you desire are on their way to you. Some of them have to be hunted, and some of them you just have to sit back and let them deliver themselves to you. If this message is resonating with you, tap that like button below if there's value here for you. Is there an area in your life which you've learned to just sit back and let it come to you? If so, comment below and let us know. Be sure to follow and subscribe to the channel so that you can get videos like this, as well as related videos and other content that I'll be posting multiple times a week so that you can get your daily dose of nature and inspiration. Till next time, stay wild.